Hello everyone, uh, this is a quick tutorial about how to add your custom character and player controller to uh, MGS or NLS. So multiplayer game system and nice lobby system should apply the same rules. So let's take a quick look on how to do that. Uh, I'll do just a third person template just uh, to keep it simple, nice and easy. All right. So if we look inside the blueprint, we have this third person character. Let's just quickly call it custom character. Right. Um, why not even adding our own uh, game mode as well? Custom GM. And let's also assume that you have a custom PC player controller okay and you want to add those to nice lobby system at the moment I'm using but it's the same with MGS so first thing first if you look inside uh, NLS and then blueprint data tables player characters player characters I mean uh, character classes you can just do duplicate and let's call it custom character same thing here custom character copy this name because we will need it later and the class let's also find custom character there we go so this is ready if we play now you will see that you have the custom character added to the menu okay so that's that's done however the problem now if we would choose it it won't it won't work it won't just work out of the box it will get you this default character why that well first thing is we need this character to be reparented to our base character this one so this character base so let's open our guy and let's go to class settings and let's find base and we will find bb character base okay compile and save you got some errors because there are duplicates so let's delete those yes and yes we don't need the camera we don't need the follow camera also all these controllers or controls inputs uh, they are already implemented inside our player controller so we don't need any of these so now if we compile we should be fine Remember when I told you to copy the name? Because now we need to go here into inside, you know, the character details and we just tell it which uh, data table role it needs to use. What is the name of the character? Don't worry about anything else. You just need that because it will read all the other details from the data table. Okay. Compile. So now if we play And we select this custom character now. We have our custom character in the game. Right, let's take it one step further. And we say that I also have my own controller. And for this controller, let's add something very quickly, maybe. I always use tab because it's easier to find and then let's change it to something like I don't know uh, B so if I press B I want to print hello okay this is my very complicated character uh, player character that I want to add okay uh, I don't know why did I close that but I need to go to the class settings and I need to reparent this to gameplay P 
PC underscore gameplay. There we go. And let's say, for example, uh, inside the lobby, instead of using the, uh, where is it? This, no, that one. PC lobby, I want to use my custom PC. Okay. So now, if I play, by the way, while testing, you pretty much always wanted to go back to the main menu simply because inside the saved, you will have a save game. <coughs> Sorry. You will have a save game folder which saves your player info. And if you try to play, you know, like from the lobby or you just run the level one or something like that, it will read the information from the save file so it will kind of overwrite and you will get uh, confusing results if you do that so always start with the main menu so now my character if i press b it will say hello 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 which means that i am actually using my custom controller now okay how about adding the custom uh, game mode? Well, let's see. We have different game modes here. Mm, frameworks, game mode. You probably want the GM game mode because it has some functionalities, you know, like spawning the character, blah, 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 all of that. So you probably want to parent it to... Um, gameplay so let's do just that let's go to my custom game mode let's open it and let's go to this and let's go to gameplay and let's say GM gameplay Now in the defaults, let's look at the settings. So the game state should be our game state. Game state, uh, GS gameplay. The controller class, that will be our custom one. Custom PC. Uh, player state. That will be PS gameplay. Add is fine. Default character. That will be custom character. That's fine. Everything else is fine. Compile and save. Now I want to use this inside the lobby. So let's go to the lobby. Let's find my custom gameplay drop it there to confirm that I'm actually using this uh, maybe let's see the gameplay print custom gameplay and just to make sure that we see this let's make it I don't know 300 seconds and give it a purpley pinky color now let's look inside the project settings Here, as you can see, if we search for uh, lobby and the and all settings, so for the lobby, it will load the GM lobby. We want it to load our own custom GM. Okay, now 
if we go to maps and we start from main menu again play and then we select our custom character it says server custom GM at the top so we are using our own custom game mode if I press B then my controller is also working okay so this is how you add your character controller and game mode which I should add to the uh, to the intro I should say also a game mode but yeah this is how you add your stuff in right thank you very much guys and I hope to see you very soon in uh, in another tutorial have a lovely day and bye bye